Hello everyone and welcome! It is your friend the John Bacon once again breaking down yet another Call of Duty victory. So as you can see, we're dropping in at one of our favorite places near the dam up north and um, utilizing the Death Stalker technique uh, like I did last time, but definitely uh, working with the Maddox rifle. Oh. oh, there we are. Yeah, that's me. Okay, so we had 86 people in the game with me. I uh, was able to get an SG-12, a Swordfish, swapped out the SG-12 for the MX-9. Just doing a quick and crazy loot. So as you can see, the circle is nowhere near me. Uh, so the priority at this stage is getting... Um, the guns and optics that I need, backpacks, health, um, and that's really the theme of this game, uh, is ensuring that I have enough health. So as long as you get an AR, or, um, I mean, an AR and a scoped rifle of any sort, uh, that's, that's the keys for me to win first, plus copious amounts of health. So this is archived footage, so that's why it's kind of acting a little goofy. Um... So I am kitting out both the IRC-7 and then eventually you will see the gun that I win the game with, the Maddox RFB. So the Maddox is what I would consider a bit of a hybrid rifle. That sensor dart, very important later. Uh, so the Maddox rifle shoots 5.56 in this game, but it has an incredibly high rate of fire. Uh, is it accurate distance? Not necessarily. The ICR definitely is. So I was willing to hunt through, hunt through uh, that other facility in the circle trying to get another assault rifle. So I have the ICR playing the role of a distance gun. Thumb up here. And then the Maddox playing the role as a close quarters um, rifle. Because of its high, superior high rate of fire. So, uh, the goal is to put a scope on the ICR. In the Maddox, uh, a 2x scope would be fine. A red dot would also be fine. Ideally, for in-game performance, uh, whenever it's final two, you definitely want that 2x. So, I try to get the 2x on there as soon as possible. So, as you saw, there's 32 left. And I am booking it all the way to the very end of the map. I committed that once I got in this boat, I would not get out of the boat, try to heal or anything else. I'm gonna haul ass to the very edge at the end of the map because I had a strong suspicion that the circle was gonna go right where it did. So my goal is to haul ass until I think it's safe in an area that I'm somewhat familiar with, with final circles. I have a feeling, it is my at least suspicion, that final circles tend to repeat themselves and there's only a few set final circle places. So this is where I'm using the trauma kit. The trauma kit will always take you to 200. If you have five health, it'll take you to 200. So I hear an ATV to the left. We're currently at 27 people left. So I, 26 people besides me. I have the Maddox. Oh, we got somebody right there. And we get the headshot along with. So the Maddox, the reason why I was able to kill him so quickly is the rate of fire is much faster than the Vapor, the KN, the Rampart. The ICR. The ICR has far less recoil, and that's what makes it a great distance gun. So we have a 2X on the ICR. Oh, and a red dot on the Maddox currently. We hear another four-wheeler. And so we're like, what the hell is he going to do? Okay, he saw me. He's going to try to flashbang me from that distance. Okay, that's cute. So what I try to do is burst a little bit, but then I forget that it's better to hold down. So he's probably going to come to the right side of the bridge. My right side, his left, which is a bad idea. And I put him down. I heal. Like I said before, the strategy is always healing. Healing before you even reload. Health is so vital to this game. You can take a lot of damage, believe it or not. So I'm going to loot him. We're going to grab ammo. We're going to grab health. I'm going to GTFO. That means get the frig out. We're at 23 currently. I'm going to go on top. I'm going to actually switch out. Um, hold on really quick. Oops. Okay. So, where did that armor go? 
I want to show you what I, the purpose of this. So I'm currently at level 2 armor. I switch it out for level 1 armor because the level 2 armor is about 50%. The reason I do this is because level 1 armor reduces damage by 30%. Level 4, or sorry, level 2 armor is 40%. Level 3 is 50%. The thing is, though, they all have the same number of hit points. So mathematically, it's more appropriate to swap out. So we got somebody in the bridge. Possibly getting ready to cross via the water. So I'm getting in position. So mathematically, it's better to have a full set of armor than a half set of armor to go a tier down. So I'm getting ready. I go into crouch. I put my scope up. I swing to him. I expect where he's going to be. I have the ICR, and I'm just going to unload. I'm going to hold it. There we go. I put him down. That's three kills. 20 left. The whole reason why I'm sprinting out to him is I need more health. I need more ammo. I need more explosives. I need more flashbangs. You can never have enough of those things. Yes, the perks are really great, but... Okay, I'm getting shot from the left side. That's why you need to have the health. I go into cover. And I go ahead and take the trauma kit again. I got a trauma kit out of that guy. That trauma kit is so important, guys. Trauma kits... You know, trauma kits... Red bandages, definitely more important than the white ones, but white ones can definitely fill you up. I'm going to try to take, try to put pressure on both of them to fight it out. I reload. As you saw, I did heal first. Even though it was a 152, I still healed just be out of instinct. I'm looking at the windows. If I see anything, I'm going to open up fire because I know that if someone's near me on the right side, they're going to shoot at me. Then I have a better vantage point. Otherwise, if there's not, and I shoot at that guy over there that I just shot at, he's going to feel pressure. I'm in the head. It's a psychological game. I equipped um, higher capacity ma a magazine for the Maddox. I added um, a 2x scope. And that guy that I shot at is shooting at me again. That's fine. I'll slide. I'm trying to use the grapnel or grappling hook as a means to like accelerate myself forward. Trying to get to better cover advantage, but I miss it just barely, so I decided to run behind the house. And um, really, you can see how far of a distance I have to go. So this circle is predominantly out of bounds. This is the line for the boundary as far as being inbounds, out of bounds. So I have quite a distance to go. Currently, I have three kills, 15 left. The, the strategy is stay to the right, go up high, um, my right, but at, so it's the left side, it's down here. Go down here to the skinny side of the circle, right, and there's less chance of getting pinched. The goal is not to get pinched and use the storm and my guns to pinch the person I'm targeting against. So I hear a four-wheeler to the side, he's off to the distance. I use the, the grappling hook to accelerate. I see tracers to the right. There's my target. I'm going to hold the ICR and accept the fact that I'm in the circle. I'm going to slide into cover. I'm going to heal. And since I'm pinned down, I can't go loot that guy. I am going to peek a little bit to see where he's at and accept the fact that I have plenty of health. This is the key in, the, in Blackout is health, health, health. We're at four kills. I can't tell where he is. I have a feeling he's over in that dark spot of the rock. You're going to see me slide and just continually slide. Like, as soon as I'm nearing cover, I'm going to slide. I'm not going to walk into the cover. I'm going to slide into the cover every time. Specifically, so if there's somebody there already that I didn't see in the past, I'm at a different point than what they're expecting whenever I arise on them. So I have the Maddox out in case somebody comes to the right from, like, the outside. And I'm still looking for this kid. I don't know where he's at. I can't see him. Where the hell is he? I think he's pushed forward on me. I hear paranoia. I, I I run. So armor is gone. Again, the importance of health. Okay, I've got 25 left. I'm going to continue to heal. The white bandages are around 25 hit points, I believe. So I got the Maddox out. So I know his approximate location. I have cluster bombs. That's Gucci. I'm going to pitch it because I think I hear him close. And I take him out. That's the importance of the cluster bombs. And that additional blast after 
is uh, good in case somebody else was trying to pinch them. It uh, provides you a kill and then potentially a secondary kill. So I'm grabbing ammo. I'm grabbing health. Got the uh, storm to my back. For the most part, I'm assured that there's no one behind me. Travel to indicated safe I have the cluster bombs out again. Five left. I have five kills. This is definitely me rising to the occasion at the end game. I see somebody coming out. He's. Uh, I put damage on him. He's barely alive. Somebody just took him out. They have a sensor dart, so they should be able to see me. They're jumping. They're running. I should have thrown that to the left a little bit more. So they're looking there. It exploded over there. They're going to be looking to the left at like Northwest 300. So I'm going to go ahead and go around to the right. I don't want to get, you know, killed. So they're nowhere to be seen. I heal with the red bandages. They're throwing an explosive. That's why it's important to keep high ground. It's going to have a harder... The explosive is going to have a harder time coming up the mountain. Four left. I'm fully healed. Weapons are reloaded. I healed and then reloaded. I censored art as far as I can. And that lets me know he's right in front of me. Holy crap. Okay, it's in a little bit of a weird situation. I nine bang. I shouldn't have thrown it out into the storm. I should have known better that he was in front of it. That's okay. Major We're still going off the uh, the radar. It's kind of hard to see where he's at. Up, oh, he's over there to the left. Okay, he's moving. So with the Maddox, once you're firing and it's it's shooting, it's okay. I throw the the um, flashbang, the concussion grenade. He's stunned, and as soon as I see him, I open up and take him out. I grab health, I heal, we're overhealed, okay it's final two, as you can see I start shooting as soon as my scope's somewhere near there and hope that I can settle the sight in. That is absolutely imperative, do not try to line up the shot at distance in a final two situation. Start freaking shooting then line up the sights. Guys, greatly appreciate it, if you enjoyed this commentary slap a like on it. I am the John Bacon. I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash the John Bacon to stay up to date with all the things I'm doing. I'm at the John Bacon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, uh, pretty much everywhere else. Guys, I greatly appreciate you tuning in. That's the Bacon's Been Sizzling. We will catch you guys in the next one. Thumbs up, high five. Let's go.